Welcome back to the community, everybody, and thanks for being part of it. I appreciate it. It's a new year, hopefully a better year. We'll see. Time will tell. All right. As you can see, we got the engine apart in the last video, finally. Sorry about all the videos, but like I said, I wasn't going to put it all into one and have it be three, four hours long. So we went ahead and got the engine apart. I believe we have a good block. I was doing some measurements on it, but I wanted to clean it up now. So... It's been soaking in degreaser for a couple of days, non-corrosive degreaser. I think I bought it at Sam's Club. Pretty sure that members mark stuff. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pressure wash it. So I thought maybe you can watch me do this. It'd be fun to see how clean I can get it. And I'm gonna try the Super Clean as promised. I promised that company a while ago I would try their product out, but I couldn't because when they shipped me this stuff, I literally was at the end of my last project and everything was clean. I had nothing to degrease. Can you believe that? But anyhow, I'm going to take it out, pressure wash it off. I'm going to put the super clean on it, scrub it a little bit, hit it with the hose and see what it does. Stay tuned. Let's get on it and get it done. Okay, so I see it's going to be one of those days. I'll have to talk a little loud. My wireless mic, I forgot to charge. Sorry. Okay, let's start pulling this out. I'll insert some pictures here of what it looked like if I can find them on my computer. And we'll go ahead and start pressure washing and we'll try the super clean out. Now, I'll zoom the camera in while I'm super cleaning and scrubbing so you can see it. Uh, I'm gonna put some music throughout here because the pressure washer is really loud, louder than my mouth. I know, unbelievable, huh? Okay, sit back, I'll put some music on and let's see what we got going on here. It did okay. It actually took all the heavy stuff off. I'm not real impressed with the Sam's Club degreaser. I uh, soaked this for a couple days and I'm not real impressed with how that worked. I'd have been better off soaking it in something else. But it did clean up pretty well. The Super Clean did really help. Uh, this block's not looking it's good to me since it's cleaned up, but it's probably just me right now being pessimistic about it. It's going to need scrubbed a lot more. I don't know. We'll see. I don't have my hopes high all of a sudden. I think it'll look better with the grease on it. <laughs> but we'll go ahead and continue to clean it up see what it looks like I'm gonna to have to measure everything it's probably a good block I just need to do the measuring and it needs a good good scrubbing I did some small amount of measurements and it seemed okay but I'm gonna to have to get my calipers out of course and it's bothering me here that looks like what your bearing goes over it so it's fine all right I'm going to spray some degreaser in here, yeah, the uh, super clean in here and let it soak a little bit and start power washing the other half off. So let's do that next. Let's scrub up again and get this done and take a look at it close up. Somehow, I really believed that soaking the block in the degreaser would have made a huge difference, but it did. But at the same time, I just thought it would have did a little better after a couple of days in it. But it didn't. I guess it is what it is. I know I've, a lot of people have used Sam's Club degreaser, Members Mark, or whatever, and have had a lot of luck with it. So. It's probably just me expecting too much with as bad as this engine was. So hopefully the super clean rescues the rest of it out. All right, 
great. I'm going to speed the film up slightly and put some music back on while the pressure washer is running. Okay, so we left the other block soaked with some super clean. I just want to see what it does. I'm curious after sitting. Okay. All right, so I'm soaking wet. It's 36 degrees. That's enough of that. We're going to go into the garage and take a look at these. I'll warm the garage up to like 50, and then we'll go ahead and take a look at these closer. Uh, I'll explain in a minute what I'm going to do to make them nicer, but we want to measure first to make sure the block's actually good. So be right back. Give me two seconds. All right, here I come. I forgot also I had soaked an oil pump in here. It's, uh, I forgot to pressure wash it, but it's all right. I'll clean it up. It's for the automatic, semi-automatic, and they're hard to get, and the teeth and the gears are like brand new. So pretty cool. I'll clean it up. All right. Where is my rag? I need another one. So let's get one half up here. Where'd my rag go again? You believe that? All right, so how did it turn out? And that's kind of weird. There's supposed to be two washers on the oil. And I'm sorry, my brain's everywhere. On the distributor drive gear, there's only one. I find that quite odd. And Corey asked me if I wanted his tool to take the distributor grout. I'm like, nah, it's okay. I should have. He has a tool bag with just all that stuff in there. And I didn't take it. I still have a lot of grease in here. Let's move you in close so you could see what I'm seeing. Is that better? All right. Yeah, it's still going to need some cleaning. No doubt. There's still crap in there. I even pressure washed, but in all fairness, this sat outside for 20 some years, I'm quite sure. It filled with oil and water, a little bit of everything. So, I mean, stuff can only do so much. I'm going to have to hand clean that, but I got the heavy stuff off because as you can see, it was pretty bad. I'm going to have to do some measuring on the saddle, hoping for around 65 millimeter. There's a chart here my buddy sent me. And it tells you technically what each thing should be at spec wise to see if it's a, a decent motor worth cutting. So I'm going to have to check quite a few things. I just thought somehow it would come out a little better. I don't know. But then again, it is old. There's no grease on it from what I could tell. Here, let me use a clean finger. No, there's no grease on it. But I think... I'm starting to see some corrosion, like right here. As you can tell, I don't know if the camera's picking that up, but I'll see what my buddy thinks. It looks like there's some corrosion to me. Let's look underneath. Let's turn it over. Everything's wet. Should have blew it off with the air nozzle, but I was trying to keep the film short. Because I don't want to bore you guys with stupidity. No, I don't know. Maybe it's okay. Maybe I'm being too picky. 50 year old engine. I mean, no matter what. I can't tell. Yeah, there's some grease here still. 
I probably missed it with the pressure washer. I'm seeing this here. It's like that corrosion starts eating into it. I don't know, maybe I'll wire wheel it with a brass wheel and see what happens. Clean it all up, but I am gonna do some measuring first. Let's take a look at the other half. I don't know, it's probably just me. I'm expecting too much. I'm expecting it to look like brand new and it's not going to. Underneath looks pretty good there. Oil drain area is fine. It's not rotted out surprisingly and that's where, oops, everything sits. It's kind of weird, ain't it? So is a lot of other things. I should have brought my digital mics up to the garage and it's not a house and I forgot it, but it's all right. I don't think you want to watch me sit here and measure things. It might be a good case. Let's look at this oil pump. All right, this is a semi-auto stick oil pump. Here's what a regular oil pump looks like. Okay, now, is, I actually did a video on installing the regular oil pipe on a standard shift. I say point pump. Get it right, mister. Okay, now, if you can see here, there's fittings. So if you're ever looking at an engine that somebody has, you can look at the back and see it'll have an automatic stick flywheel, or you can look at the front and look at the oil pump and see these fittings, okay? And that's how you know it's a semi-auto stick. Well, there's many ways, but that's a quick reference real fast. These, they don't sell anymore, I don't believe, so I'm gonna clean this up really pretty. I did clean just a small area, and it's gonna clean up and look like new. But they don't sell these anymore. So I'm going to clean this up real nice. They check the teeth on the gears look really good. So we're going to clean it up and make it look brand new. And see who out there needs it. Or I'll throw it on the Samba Classifieds or something. And shuffle it off because I'm not an auto stick guy. I liked them when I was young. I had one temporarily. And then when I figured out that it was no fun, I switched to a four speed. You know, so. Here's the main bearings that came out of there. And I can't remember in the last video if I showed it or not. However, I think I did. I can't remember. Wait, let me switch this around here. See that? Standard. Standard bearings. That's why I'm interested in this block, as you could see some copper there. So it's okay. We know it's gonna need cut to 20 thousandths. So not a big deal, but I just thought, I gotta find, here we go. I thought that was cool. So actually I looked at the cam bearings and let me wipe it off. But I guess they never end up that bad. The cam bearings actually looked okay to me. I don't know if you could see that. That's dirt that you're seeing on there. But the lifters, I was looking at them. I mean, I'm not going to reuse them or anything, but just to give you a reference of why I'm checking this motor out is the lifters, there's dirt on it. You get the point. You're, the high definition camera's picking up stuff that kind of don't exist, but the uh, lifters actually didn't look that bad. They slid in and out nice and smooth. So I hope this engine's good. All right, so I'm going to clean this oil pump up, get that on the classifieds because I'm tired of stockpiling stuff here. Uh, by the way, I was talking about taking the oil pressure relief valves out, and here's what I wanted to show you. I always forget about stuff until the end. These are what I had to get out, and they were not fun. They were in there for 50 years, sitting out probably for 20 or 30, but I did get them 
with PB Blast and the vice grips, as you can tell around the edges. But when I replace them, I'm going to change over and put the ones on that have the either, you can use a 22 millimeter hex, 22 millimeter wrench, or a quarter inch drive ratchet. I did it in a video here. I think I can slip it and I'll try to find it. And that way you can get them right out. Those long slotted flat screwdriver heads on them are horrible to try to get out after they've been in there for a little while. So, okay, uh, that's it. I'm going to separate the other engine block. Uh, it's actually the pistons and jugs and everything are already off because I used that stuff off of the engine. The pistons were brand new. So I'm down to just splitting the block open and it's a clean block. If you guys want to see it, leave it in the comments down there. It'll be probably a 10 or 15 minute video. It won't be real long. But I can split the case on that with you or without you, whatever you want to do. And we're going to get the wire wheeling the rear of the car and start patching up the bodywork back there. and get the new rear apron on, the new front apron, blah, blah, blah. Sound good? All right, let's get this new year rocking and rolling. Hopefully the 68 will be on the street this summer with the GoPro cam and out having fun and looking for the next project. I got ahead of myself. So I'll see you next week.